What is up guys, this is Jay here at Jay Media One, and we are back with another product tech review, but this time we got the iPhone 13 Pro. Not only do we have one, but we have three. So we have three different colors to show you guys today. These come in the gold, silver, or Sierra blue colors, and then we also have the graphite colors as well. Um, it's ceramic shield front, there's a textured matte glass back, and stainless steel design. Uh, this is gr a great, great phone for dropping. You don't have to worry about dropping this phone because they've reinforced these. Uh, it has 128, 256, or 512 gigabytes, or even one terabyte this time. As far as size and weight goes, this thing's 5.78 inches. Um, it weighs one, uh, 146 millimeters, I'm sorry. Uh, the width is 2.82 inches and the depth is just 0.3 inches. So it's super, super thin. Um, it weighs in at about 7.19 ounces or 204 grams. And this thing is just really, really cool, guys. We didn't get the Max model this year. And the reason why is because we really don't need a, a display that large. But we're going to show you the Pro model. Basically the same thing, a few more inches on the max. This one's 6.1 inches diagonal. It does have a Super Retina XDR display with ProMotion this time. 25 by 32, 100, or 1170 pixel resolution at 460 PPI. It has the rounded corners, beautiful curved design, and we're going to give this thing a look. So we're going to take it out of the box and show you guys what it looks like. Just like normal iPhones, we got the green strips here on the back. So we're going to start with the the blue. So we got the blue here and we got the green strips that you use to open it. So we're going to pull on the tabs and then with that we should just be able to drop the phone down. And we can see how nice it looks just straight in the box there. Nice matte design. The cameras look really, really large. There, there's a big bump on the back of these, if you can get in on that. The Apple logo on the back, and then we have this nice stainless steel design that goes all the way around the edges, just wraps all the way around there, really, really nice looking. You got your SIM uh, tray right here, your volume rockers, your mute button, and then if you go around to this side, you get your power button, and then we got our little antenna. And like I said, these cameras are, they really protrude out there. It looks like the flash is a little bit bigger, the microphone ports right here. And then we got the three super large cameras. So then we just got this cover. We slide that back. And there's our display. And wow, that's a, that is a very nice color. I like how the edge kind of matches the color. It's obviously a lot brighter because it's the stainless steel, but the matte and the, and the stainless look really, really good together. So then also inside of here we have our, our charging port, and we are still stuck with the, uh, the lighting port, the Apple port here. Um, but you have USB-C on the other side, and there's no power brick. You just have a little bit of reading material, and we have our little SIM ejector tool in here as well. So nothing else inside the box, but we're going to show you guys the other, the other colors as well. And so that was the Sierra Blue model. And then this one is the graphite color. So we're going to do the same thing, pull the tabs. One up here, one down here. Turning in the tab city over here. So we're going to move those out of the way. And then we just flip it over, same thing, slide it out. This one's super nice as well. I like the, the black up here, it's almost like a black color, and then you get the real nice matte texture on the back. We pull it out of the box, see how nice that looks there, with just that matte color to it. And it's got that really nice stainless band around it as well. And I like how they color coordinate everything. It does not feel heavy, but it definitely feels a little bit heavier than my previous iPhone. And then we just pull the cover off, of course, and you got the glass. If you look at the, the, the little area here where everyone says the bump is, the big bump, it has gotten a little bit smaller. It looks like it's gotten a little bit smaller, and you can definitely see the front-facing camera there. 
as well but this is probably the perfect size guys it's 6.1 inches I think this is it okay so that one's out of the way and then we're going to go with the the starlight color or their white look same thing pull the tabs some of this paper out of the way let it drop down wow that one's super nice as well beautiful Apple's just got away with these and if you could see where the cameras are here as well it's very 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 nice white color kind of pops out and like I said these cameras if you can see how much of a bump there is there it's it's pretty large but the camera upgrade has been major on this there's a whole bunch of new stuff that we can do I'm gonna peel that off and you can see all the way around the edge same thing you got the mute button the rockers but I like this stainless steel look the graphite look is super cool you can see the difference there with the different backs so we're just going to put these together like this so you can see the difference on the different types of backs we got and so that's it there's the blue the starlight and the graphite uh, colors that we have here and like I said I think they're about the perfect size but you can see the blending between the, the matte back and where the cameras sit you can see how they blend it really really nice and it's just super clean looking if we flip it over give you kind of this look here and when you set them on the table if you can get down here you can see how far they stick up off the table just because of that camera bump right there but it's not that bad I mean once you get a case on these it's gonna level it out anyways but if you see this is six one inches right diagonal and you can see the camera takes up a really good portion of the phone but that's a good thing because the cameras on these are absolutely amazing okay guys so this has a two million to one contrast ratio it's got a thousand nits of max brightness uh, 1200 nits if you go to HDR it's fingerprint resistant oleophobic coating uh, it has support for multiple display languages it's splash and water dust resistant it's rated at IP68 and you can go up to a depth of six meters for 30 minutes with that kind of rating it does have the a15 bionic chip a new six core CPU with two performance and four efficiency cores we also have the five core GPU in this and the 16 core neural engine uh, the cameras on this we got the pro 12 megapixel camera system so we got the telephoto the wide and the ultra wide lenses on this so we got three the telephoto has a 2.8 aperture the wide has a 1.5 and the ultra wide has a 1.8 the wide also has a 120 degree field of view uh, we got three times optical zoom two time optical zoom out six time optical zoom range it has a digital zoom of up to 15 times it does support night mode portraiture enabled by lidar scanner so this has a lidar scanner which is uh, basically like you can see a bunch of these green dots that pop out and they map the area uh, it's got portrait mode with it um, advanced depth control it's got uh, six different effects so it's got natural studio contour stage stage mono and high key mono it's got a dual optical uh, stabilization so if you are a little bit shaky when you when you're taking video or photo it'll stabilize that and there is a little device inside of here if you were to open it up that you can see allows it to move around to try to stay stable it's got uh, true tone flash with slow sync panorama up to 63 megapixels for that it's got the sapphire crystal lens cover here and it's 100 times focus pixels it's got the smart HDM, the HDR4 photographic styles macro photography it does Apple Pro raw and it has wide colors for photo and live photo lens correction um, th this thing is crazy the, the, the new features they're putting into it is the cinematic mode and that's for recording videos with the shallow depth of field it's got the HDR video recording with the Dolby Vision and that's up to 4k at 60 frames per second basically like the older the models
uh, 4K recording at 24 frames, 25 frames, 30 frames per second as well. It does 1080p, 720p, and uh, you also get that stabilization with the, the video recording as well. It's got quick take video on this one. So you can do quick videos, you can do time-lapse time videos, and the new cinematic video uh, display, which we'll have to go over in a, in a different uh, review. Because there's a lot that comes on this. We got the iPhone or the iOS 15 as well. Uh, the new Animojis and Memojis. It's got the night mode, uh, deep fusion. It's got uh, a whole new range of uh, photographic styles. And you can put your photos straight into a uh, raw photo with it as well, which is extremely nice. So like I said, we'll go over some more of the, uh, the capabilities and what it can do and how the pictures look and things like that. It's got the Face ID. Of course, that's still built in here. Um, nothing different about that. Uh, it's still got all the same things as far as the Apple Cash app and, and Apple Card and, and uh, the wallet and things like that. The wallet's getting better with the iOS 15 as well. They're getting to the point now where they're going to be putting uh, IDs, passports, and things like that on there, which is really, really cool. Um, so we're going to go over some of those specs as well, guys. Okay, guys, so we're waiting for the backup and the update. We set up Face ID. We got the whole thing started here. You can see that it's doing the software update to 15.0.2. The updating the backup has started on my old phone. If you look at the difference here, this is the Pro Max model of the iPhone 12. And you can see it's not a whole lot larger. That's why I think that this size here, this is a 6.1 compared to the 6.7 inch, is just going to be the optimal size. It's going to fit in your pocket better, easier to talk on if you're on the phone and things like that. So I think this size is going to be great. And we're going to do a whole other video on the software and what it's capable of and things like that. I just wanted to get these unboxed so you guys can see what they look like, check them out. Give yourself a good idea of what the best color is going to be for you, possibly, and things like that. But that's it, guys. If you like this video, make sure you mash the like button, hit subscribe, and we will see you for the next one. Later, guys.